Hello, in this video we're going to solve a differential equation. We have x squared times y prime of x, and that's equal to y squared. And so to solve a differential equation means to find the unknown function which satisfies this equation. In other words, we can plug it into this equation and it will be true. So, solution. Let's go ahead, that's a really weak <laughs> solution. <laughs> Let me just try that again. Solution, there we go, a little bit better. Um, let's start by uh, writing our y prime in a way that is going to make this problem a little bit easier to solve. So let's write this as x squared times dy dx. And this is equal to y squared. All right. And our goal here is going to be to try to separate the variables. So we want to have the y together with the dy, all the y's, together with the dy on one side, and all of the x's together with the dx on the other side. So the dy is already here, so let's put the y squared here. So we'll divide by y squared. So we'll get dy over y squared. So dividing by y squared, multiplying by dx, and dividing by x squared. That's going to give us dx over x squared. Again, we divided by y squared. That ends up with dy over y squared, then you multiply by dx and you divide by x squared and that puts you here. We can go ahead and integrate both sides, so I'm going to put the integral symbol. However, we can't really integrate this yet in the way it's written. Uh, it will be beneficial to rewrite this. So we can bring these variables upstairs and when we do that it makes the exponents negative. So this will become y to the negative 2 dy and on the right hand side, we're going to get x to the negative 2 dx. All right, and now we can apply what's called the power rule. The power rule says when you have a variable to an exponent, as long as that exponent is not negative 1, you add 1 to the exponent and you divide by the result. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So this is y to the negative 1 over negative 1. And over here on the right hand side, again, we add. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So we have x to the negative 1 over negative 1. And then we have our constant of integration, which is capital C. Let's clean this up just a little bit. We can bring these variables back downstairs and make the exponents positive and put the negative signs on the outside. So we have negative 1 over y equals negative 1 over x and then plus c, which is our constant of integration. We could solve for y, but I'm just going to decide to stop here and leave it just like this. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.